And we're back on the Mountain Morning Show, and every Friday we bring you In Magazine, and Ryan and Kelly are in the studio with us today to tell us all about all the activities that are going on. There's so much entertainment always going on between Park City, and if we want to get out of town and go to the bigger city in Salt Lake, there's just a multitude of things going on down there. Always. So, <laughs> any favorite things that are going on, Ryan, this weekend? This weekend. You were talking about new movies uh, coming yeah, out, you know, right? I'm, yeah, we can talk about that. movies. Yeah, this, uh, we got James Bond this weekend, which... Uh, they had some midnight screenings last night, so some of the diehards have already seen it. But uh, it's a pretty good film. Did you get to see it? I, I, not, you were no, a diehard? No, no, no I, I, I got to see it a little earlier than that. Okay. We actually had a screening last week. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a definitely more action-oriented James Bond film. Uh, it, it's not as plot-driven, say, as the last one was. But it picks up right where the last one left off. So a lot of the character development of, of uh, Casino Royale kind of carries over to this new film. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's quite good. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it's the best Bond ever and that sort of thing. And I think it's, it, it's in a way, it's, it's so much action going on that I think people just kind of get caught up in it and, and kind of just run around with it. And, uh, and it, it is very entertaining. And uh, I do recommend it. I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed. really disappointed anyway. I, I, I liked the direction of the last film in that there was a lot of... Uh, character development, a lot of more seeing him as a, as a person rather than kind of this super agent with a lot of toys. And they still don't overplay the toys bit, which I, I like quite a bit because it seems like James Bond had gotten to the point where it was like, well, James is kind of interesting, but what about his toys? What, what little gadgets is he going to have? Such a guy movie, huh? <laughs> All the toys it and was, the action. Yeah, it's not, and, and, and this one, you know, and the, and the last film was actually more kind of a balanced thing, and I think the new one is a little more of a guy film, but I think there's enough there that, that women will still enjoy it. I think the, the, the female characters in these more recent Bond films have been more than just the, the the stupid, sexy, you know, woman. There's some love story in this one too. Uh, not not so much of a love story in this. He's still recoiling from the love story in the last one. Um, this one this one really picks up right where the last one left off, and he's dealing with all those issues. Uh, and not quite as long as some of the other ones, right? No, an no, hour, it's, minutes, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's and, it, and it, a lot actually, of action packed. It feels a lot. More because it, it's just right from the very beginning. There's action. There's action. There's action. It slows down in a couple of places, but it's pretty much full throttle. Right. Any new games coming out? A lot of new games For right the now. The gamers. Oh yes, lots of. We've got uh, tons of games uh, that have just come out. Right uh, in time for Christmas. Right, right into that's exactly holidays. the idea. So I, in, in this issue, I talked about uh, Fable Two, which is pretty good. Um, uh, it, it's kind of a uh, you get to choose if you're good or evil. It's it's kind of a, you, a little you get magic. To pick your destiny. Little, yeah, you pick a little of your destiny, and I, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, compared to maybe some of the other games out right now, I, I preferred maybe Fallout 3 or, or that sort of thing. Um, Any new games out for kids? For, for kids, you know, another uh, for the PS3, there's this game called Little Big Planet, which is probably the best game of the year, really? actually. Um, and what's that one rated? Do you know? It's, it's everyone. E, okay. Yeah, it's rated E, and it is, it is phenomenal. The, the graphics in it are, are simple, but it's deceiving because the textures on it are unreal. Uh, you play this little, like, beanbag type character, and uh, the, just the, the detail on, on his, his, his clothing is, is unbelievable. Really? And that game, again, is called what? It's a Little Big Planet. Little and, Big Planet. And uh, it's, it's the sort of thing that I think anyone can enjoy, really, because there's, you, you can play the game just regular, and it's kind of a side-scrolling thing, so it's a lot like the old Mario games. Um, Everybody loves Mario. Everybody yes. Loves Mario, right? it, 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 and, and you can also design your own levels, and you build your own levels, and you put them up on the, uh, the PlayStation Network, and other people can play it, rate your levels. So you can go on, onto the PlayStation Network and play all these, these custom designed games. By, you know, people it amazes from all over me. The world. You know, now you can play it's, yourself, but then now you can start networking with people you don't even know, right? It's unbelievable. But yeah, Little Big Planet is, is probably the Thumbs best. Up for best you. Get kids game to come out in years and you know it's on the PS3 which is less catering to the to, to the kids uh, so you know a lot of the adults will buy the the PS3 for a blu-ray player and, and a lot of the games that they'll get are rated M but now there is something that that the, the family everyone in the family can actually enjoy uh, okay. it's, it's really phenomenal. check that out too we have some photos of it in this week's issue we do oh, have photos it's okay, so wonderful. adorable it, it, just these little knit characters just all the with zippers too. i think you, wrote, you want to you, makes you want to yeah, touch you the too. screen you want to run a, it's it's kind of like a picasso <laughs> painting where you look at it and think i really want to touch that just to feel the really? texture it's like almost like when you go to a yeah, 3d yeah, yeah, yeah but you, you, but it, it's it's great and uh, i don't 
it's it's a British British uh, made made and and the sense of humor in it is phenomenal. Uh, you can tell just from the opening intro that this is a game that's completely different than anything we've ever climate. done. Wow, yeah. we'll check that one out. Yeah. So Kelly, you've got some things you're excited about this week, right? Uh, Your features of the scene in Salt Lake City. Oh well, that's some every week. That are making some every week we have a feature in in called Scene and SLC. And it's kind of where we show the people behind the scenes a little bit, just kind of show their, their face and find out why they do what they do and why they try to bring people together and form a community. So a lot of times it's nightclub promoters and DJs. Um, we've also had actresses, a chef, um, there was a Planned Parenthood activist, you know, anybody who is trying to make a difference in their community. And we in just a community kinda, of entertainment and arts. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we just kind of get inside their heads a little bit and let people know and what's the, going on. the feature them. that you have this week is... Um, this week that? we featured um, Justin Strange, and he's a, he's a local DJ, and he does a uh, pretty crazy club night called Gutter Butter, and they have some pretty out there themes. Uh, I think one of their recent ones was Gutter Butter Goes to Jail, and I think for Thanksgiving, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe this will be too controversial for your viewers, <laughs> but their, their theme's called Die, Pilgrim, Die. So okay. <laughs> just, they are definitely inspired by horror movies. So you know, it's amazing, though. There's mm -hmm. something for everybody. Definitely. You know, uh -huh. I mean, such an array of the conservative things to the more, you know, um, out there kind of activities and events going on. Yeah. And, um, and also, you're talking about a theater that yeah. opened a couple years ago that... You right. went. Um, and what, what did you see there? Uh, it's called the Empress Theater, and it's actually out in Magna. And Ryan actually went with me, yeah, so we, we both time. went to see a play called Wait Until Dark, which is uh, set in the 60s. And uh, Audrey Hepburn actually, uh, I think she won an Academy Award, or she was at least nominated yeah. for her performance in the 1967 version of it. And uh, this was not the best production I've ever seen, but the thing that was so cool about it was this theater just has so much heart. You know, it's been Is it around, an old theater? It's a, a very theater? old theater. It was uh, built in 1917 as a burlesque theater, or 1916, and then in 1917 it started showing silent movies, and mm -hmm. it showed movies up until the, the Great Depression when uh, the copper mills shut down. And then it sat empty for 50 years. Wow, that's and, a long time. Yeah, a couple different people tried to restore it. Someone tried to restore it in the 70s. Um, a local actor uh, named, I think, Leo Ware was his name. He's associated with Hale Theater. He bought it in 1983, worked on it for over a decade until he had an accident, couldn't work on it anymore. And then um, a, a local uh, nonprofit group mm -hmm. uh, bought it in 2006, and then they've kept restoring it. And, and they've, they're still restoring it, but they opened it uh, to the public. You know, they're starting. And do to they have one play after another, or one? Music yeah, after they. Another? Um, we were looking at their season for next year. I think it was nine plays. Um, but when we went there, I just felt like everyone there was so proud of what they have Had made. You know, that they're revitalizing. Magna. Like we are of the Egyptian. You know, they have mm -hmm. the old historic theaters that. You know, you've rejuvenated and, and they're alive again. Yeah. And bringing back that whole theater culture again. Yeah, there was real joy and pride there. I thought, you know, the actors just seemed so excited to be doing what they were doing. That's true. So there's so much going on in Salt Lake um, around the whole Valley area this weekend. If people want to pick up a copy of the Inn magazine, where can they usually pick it up? Everywhere cool. It's free. Everywhere yes, cool. I like that. It's free. Um, coffee shops and restaurants and clubs. And you can always check our website, inthisweek.com for a listing of all the locations. And, okay. and if there is a place that, that would like to have it, all they need to do is contact us and we'll make sure. And what's the best can, way to get in touch with you guys? Uh, you know, they, if, uh, pick up a copy pick of this and then and look or, inside. Or you can and email editor at inthisweek.com mm -hmm. and we'll see it as well. All right, terrific. Well, guys, thanks for being here. We always love to have In Magazine to find out what is in, in Salt Lake going on. And... Um, so thanks for being with us. No thanks for having me. And so you. that's your news on the new movie, the new James Bond movie coming out and some new games. And uh, you want to check out the scene in Salt Lake feature and in. So Ryan and Kelly, thanks so much for being with us. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a minute on the Mountain Morning Show.